In this video, I'll show you how to read uh, data files from a remote FTP server and then load them to uh, HDFS. Right? We will uh, also be looking at several FTP components uh, such as you know creating the FTP connection, listing out and to check whether uh, the file exists. Uh, if it exists, then you uh, transfer the file to HDFS and uh, copy those files into archive folder. We will see uh, this entire use case in this session. So let's get started. I have these five files uh, that are sitting on my FTP uh, server. Uh, I'm using WinSCP tool. And uh, if you see um, the source input file path is input slash airport. And we have got five CSV file. Under HDFS, when you go to this files view, right, um, you get to this in you know, a files view window. And uh, I'll be putting uh, all those five files into this particular directory slash user slash HDFS slash output. So this is my um, you know, target um, you know, di directory in the Hadoop uh, environment. So let me uh, go to the HD, um, the talent job. If you have not created the FTP connection, I would uh, show you quickly. Uh, just right click on this FTP and then create a new connection like this. And you can type in your username, password and the IP address or the host name of that particular FTP server and provide the port as 21 right you have a choice to give timeout uh, if your server is not responding so you can give that otherwise you can leave it blank so this is how you create uh, your FTP connection and um, we will start using this connection in our uh, talent job okay so in the pre job I have already you know uh, dragged these components to HDFS connection and I'm pointing to the sandbox that we have right and uh, I also have another co connection component for the FTP right we just created the FTP metadata so I'm using that uh, from the repository all right so the next task is um, to check whether uh, that particular file exists right so for that uh, when you go to this palette section you see several uh, FTP components using which uh, we will be checking whether the file exists on the remote server so let's drag in our FTP file exist component and here we'll say use the existing connection because we wanted to reuse that connection right and then the remote uh, server right we will specify the folder name as input and then the Folder was um, input slash airport, right? So this was the um, folder. Okay, all right. So this is good, and uh, we will have to specify the file name, um, the format. I will just uh, say star dot star, or you can even say CSV uh, or TXT, whatever, based on your use case, right? Uh, that's all on the file exist component. Let's see. Now that we have created connection, let's see uh, how can we check if a particular uh, file exists on the remote FTP. So for that, uh, we will be using a component called TFTP file exist. Right, so we will make use of existing connection and we will have to specify the, um, the input path. So this is my input path and for the file name, uh, we can um, give like you know star dot uh, CSV or whatever file you know you um, have. So we'll, we give the folder name and also we give the file pattern, and then we will see if that file exists. Or you can even give exact file name, right? You don't have to uh, specify this. Um, let's say if you want uh, want to check if a particular file exists or not, then what you can do is. Um, you know put this uh, exact file name as is and then um, we will be using um, run if command right because we want to check if that file exists so for that I will quickly add one t java and I will connect it using run if okay and here I am going to print uh, something like Okay, 
okay so in this if condition I'm gonna specify the actual condition so here what I'll do is I'll be using I'll be using TFTP exist uh, components um, system variables okay just type in TFTP um, TP file okay so as soon as you just type in the component name it will show all the available uh, variables inside it right so we will uh, use this exist component and since it's a boolean type all we have to do is if this exist then you uh, trigger this point otherwise you just print that it is not existing right so we will again connect it using run if command and you will copy the condition okay now we will say false if this particular uh, file does not exist then go and print this message otherwise you know print this message let's see if this works okay see the file exists this particular file exists so it is now printing file exist if it is not there uh, then it would uh, go and you know ex execute this particular uh, component okay so now that we have make sure let's uh, work on um, you know transferring those files into our local so for that uh, we can use um, we can also use a FTP file list component to um, you know to print uh, all the files that we have on the remote folder so how you do it uh, is using you can connect to this iterate and then put it uh, maybe yeah t java row so we'll use this component and we'll we'll just print uh, the file names here i will say file name equals okay here i'll be making use of one of the system variables tftp file list so just type in this component name and then hit control space you should be able to see this variable uh, now this will print um, all the file names here on the console let's see okay so there is some error here uh, unexpectedly closed okay yeah we haven't actually choose a connection okay so now we have chosen the connection we will uh, give the input path again which is input slash airport okay and we'll just specify uh, star.csv see providing this file mask is mandatory uh, if you don't have any condition you can just type in star dot star but now in my case I'm using star dot csv right so now we have specified the uh, connection and also uh, we gave the uh, uh, file mask okay see the file exists and also it is printing all the file names from FTP location okay so now in the next um, thing what I want to do is uh, I will use this um, FTP list right and I will explore another FTP component okay so now in order to put into HDFS we will have to first get it onto our local so for that uh, we will be using FTP get component again we will use um, the existing connection and we will say uh, right slash input slash airport right we will give this and file mask is our star dot psv okay so now what will happen um, you, you are again connecting and then providing the local directory uh, sorry this is the uh, remote directory and our local directory you have a browse button you can choose that 
Okay, so we'll say HDFS. Um, we'll just capture here. And let's see if we, if we have that files. So these files are already there, talent output airport, talent output airport, files are already there, I'm gonna just delete it, okay, so no file exists on my local directory, right, with this component we should be able to bring in all the files into our local, okay, let's go ahead and run this job. Okay, see now file exists, uh, all the file names and then we also completed the get. Let's look at it. Okay, so all the files are now copied over. Um, so from this point, uh, what we had to do is uh, let's put in uh, HDFS component. And also if you notice, if you are sourcing data from any FTP or any S3 or any other external location, first it has to come to Talon uh, server and then uh, should be file should be put on the remote HDFS okay so for that now the files are copied from FTP to my our local we will directly use HDFS port we'll say once this particular sub job is done I want to put our files into remote HDFS again we'll make use of existing connection uh, which is HDFS so the local directory is the directory where we are uh, we have just copied the files from FTP remote location right so we'll be using that as our local directory and uh, the HDFS directory um, so, yeah. and the HDFS directory let's um, quickly choose that Okay, I want that to be copied over to user HDFS um, user HDFS in the output folder. So I want to load my files here, and we'll say uh, we'll load all the files. There is a section here called a new uh, name. Uh, you, if you are, um, you know, if you want the file name to be different on HDFS, you can give this, um, you know, name here. Using that, I, the file name will be renamed, right? So for now, we'll just maintain the same uh, file name, right? And also, you see, there is a overwrite option. Um, you can actually set it to always or never based on your use case, right? Uh, in my case, I'll just overwrite the file. Okay, so now this HDFS uh, component is now set. Let's quickly see. Okay, so this is my HDFS, right? Uh, user HDFS and output. And currently there are no files. Let me go ahead and run the job. Okay, see that? This part is also complete. Now uh, HDFS, let's see. Okay, see now that all the files are now copied over. We will make use of TFTP delete component and we will trigger that. All sub job, okay. So what this component will do, um, this will delete the file uh, from this remote directory. Right, let's give that. So let's be consistent so that we don't uh, delete uh, no, unnecessary files. Uh, you may want to even you know, parameterize this part uh, when you do it. Okay, so now we have um, taken care of you know even uh, deleting our remote uh, FTP file. The next step is to archive. Um, the file that we have uh, sourced into our local folder right so this is our talent output 
airport folder so this these are the files uh, that came from FTP so uh, we will now uh, archive uh, back into uh, this archive folder so in order to do that archive uh, you have a component called deep file archive you will use this at the end of the job if uh, this entire flow is completed I want uh, these file to be archived back so for that uh, we will read our input uh, I mean sorry the output folder where we have all our files we'll use that as our uh, directory and the archive directory uh, we will we will do it this way um, just put talent archive and I will call it as airport underscore archive so it's it's gonna read all those output files from uh, this folder and um, you know create a zip file under talent archive folder so let's see before I run the talent job uh, let me place all the input files onto our remote FTP server right it is in input uh, airport when I run the job again um, it should uh, check if the file exists right and then if it's uh, there um, copy those files to our local and then put it onto our HDFS location delete the FTP file and then we will archive into our talent local uh, uh, folder okay so let's uh, go ahead and run this job again okay so the process has started and it is completed successfully so let's go back and check okay see so this is how we have uh, created this archive file under talent archive directory